Hey guys, so this is a super quick review on the Holika Holika Sweet Cotton 4 Cover BB Cream that looks like this. The theme of this product is like a sugary type of candy store type of thing. Uh, it does smell like candy. I don't know how they managed to do it. It has SPF 30 and it's a pretty great BB Cream. I'm certain the company made a few products from this line as well. I'm guessing they made the powder to go with it and the primer that all have this thing going on to them. I have many things to say about this BB cream. As you may know, Holika Holika makes my favorite BB creams of all time. Uh, and this product was no exception. It has amazing coverage which I will show you a clip of me applying it by the end of this video. It mattifies quickly. I actually uh, haven't applied any powder on my face at all and it lasts all day. I have used it uh, once before today and it's amazing. It lasted since morning till night on my face and I have very oily skin. So it's a great product for those women out there that don't want to take the time to apply a powder after applying makeup. Base, it mattifies completely and it lasts a long, long time on the face. I really recommend it. It's very, very affordable. You get 30 milliliters of product for $6. It's actually on par with uh, Petite BB Cream. They both have the same quantity, but somehow this bottle looks a lot smaller. And yeah, it looks a lot smaller, but I think that's because this product is more thick in consistency. It actually, when you apply it, it doesn't move anywhere. It's just a very thick cream product, while this one is more liquidy. For me, it has the coverage of a foundation. Plus, it has a lot of skincare benefits, so I really, really love this product. I think I'm going to be repurchasing it for the rest of the year, even longer than that. I am really impressed with it, and I really like it. After applying it, I did the rest of my makeup, and it's Rosie Dioro by Milani on my cheeks. I used the Chinese. Pionle Miniature Bright Blush in the color 20 as a contour because it's very dark. And I apply a little bit of highlighter on my nose and all over my cheeks. And this is Elf Fake Blush. And it's called Pinktastic. This is catered as a blush, but it's actually a highlighter. So, yeah. And prior to applying the BB cream, I did my eye makeup with using the Lorax palette and I used this color over here and this one and the one on top of that. I also used the Skin Food Choco Smoky Waterproof Eyeline Gem and it's great. And for my eyebrows I used the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder and my lipstick, this like orangey type of thing going on, it's the Coraline by Wet n Wild, one of their matte lipsticks. Uh, that will be all for this video, it's a very fantastic, affordable BB cream and I do recommend it if you're looking for something that's mattifying and if you're worried that your oily skin may break down uh, the BB cream. With time, this you don't have to worry about that because it's very, very mattifying. I will put a video of me applying it after this, and that will be it. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video.